Alright, I'm using X15. I'm going to run through this pretty quick. I just got three cabinets here. They're just base cabinets. Um, they're all 24 inches wide. The trick, or one of the tricks with making a, a door or a drawer like this, is that it's not going to stretch horizontally. It'll stretch vertically real good, but it's not going to stretch side to side. So you need to make them the, the correct width. And so here's a here's an elevation of that. And all I did was take a 3D solid and then it'll snap It'll snap if you're careful. It'll snap to the... So all I'm doing is using the, the drawer head that's on the cabinet already to size this. Um, I mean, you could open up the, the cabinet and figure out the sizing and stuff, but this, this works just as well. So now I've got a 3D solid, and then all I needed to do was figure out these little grooves. And so I made these, um, I just I just kind of guessed, you know, I, I figured they're going to be about a half inch wide and a half inch between them. And it turns out that there's 47 of these across here. And so you can just draw one, the correct size, multiple, multiple copy across over here in plan. This is the way it looks like in plan. Here's, the, here's that solid I just drew. I'm going to delete that because I don't need it. Anyway, I drew, these, I drew these pieces right here in plan and then came back over to the elevation and, and positioned them up and down. And then I just multiple copied one all the way across. And I'm going to take all these, I'm going to select all this, I'm going to make a symbol, I'm going to make this cabinet door drawer, I'm not going to show anything, I'll, see, I'll add it to the library, that's probably not how you spell read it, but, so now I've got a, now I've got a drawer head here. And I can come over here like this and replace it on these cabinets. And since they're all the same size, it works out real good. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, there's all my... I'm going to undo that. Come over here select all this stuff I would usually I'd usually um, I'd usually select all these and then um, use this tool up here union this is my edit toolbar I just drag it up from the bottom and when I make a symbol like this um so you might want to you might want to I don't know I don't know I can't see good enough on your image but um you may want to change this these end pieces somehow or maybe you have a groove instead of a thing that protrudes here but anyway I usually when I'm doing a making a symbol like this usually I make it uh, different colors and that way I can I can make just part of it one color
anyway, the the, the uh, j- just doing this is really quick. I mean, I'm talking about it, and it's taken five minutes. Um, it's the details that that take a long time. For instance, if you wanted these little things, if you wanted these to be rounded a little bit, that's easy to, enough to do. Um, well, like I said, you might you might want to fix this piece so you don't have two two things protruding right here next to each other. But again, I don't I don't know what you want to do. So 